As you know. Live now. You should be there in a few seconds. Okay. Not there yet. Uh huh. I'm there now. Good evening, peeps. Well, what a week we've had. We've had snow, hail, winds, rain, um, no sun, none at all. Um, and I may be suffering from sad. No, I'm not. I'm quite all right, really. I quite like the snow, to be honest. Um, as, you know, as long as you're prepared for it. I mean, we live in the back of beyond, so as soon as the weather forecast says snow, we just go out and buy loads of tin stuff, loads of beans. <laughs> uh, so we're not taking any hurt, we're doing fine. Um, and nothing to stop me bringing you alive today, which is great. So today we're going to be starting on a new journal. I haven't finished the Boho one yet, but I was just getting a bit concerned that it was all getting a bit samey for you. Maybe it's time to chop and change do one of these and one boho i don't know we'll see anyway how we go so today we're going to be uh, looking at these envelopes and writing paper uh, this is a, a concept an idea from andrea at Artie maze pop over and have a look at her youtube channel uh, or at etsy shop she's her output is phenomenal for a start I mean she she puts out at least one video a day I don't know how she does it um one live a week's quite sufficient for me um but Artie Mays go and have a look uh and this is pretty much her idea a uh, slight few tweaks but nothing major and it's just um an envelope that's been coffee stained stamped on watercolored gessoed decoupaged and i know that sounds a lot but i'm going to walk you through it today and you'll see it's really easy and look at the results that you get i mean they're just so lovely so flushed with success from doing those i decided that i'd do some writing paper as well to go in them and i've done exactly the same thing just um you know bit of decoupage in the bottom corner i've stamped on them but it doesn't stop you it's lined paper it certainly doesn't stop you using these for journaling um and i, I really think of i love them actually they're so pretty so that's those we've got eight sheets of that and four envelopes so two sheets in each envelope and off we go that's so that's that go to Artie Mays. So let's have a look. Hiya Ruth. Hiya Georgia. Thanks for watching. Hiya Paula. How are you doing? Um, cooking dinner so we'll be in and out. Georgia. I'm so much more important than dinner. <laughs> Hiya Paula. Right so what we are going to be aiming for today are these two. This is a kind of similar one. It's got the decoupage on and paint and whatever. This one is similar up until a point, but then it's got metallic a metallic stencil on uh, instead of the decoupage. And that I, I really like that one, actually. I think it's really pretty. So let's get cracking. Oh, before we do, I'll just show you where my journal is up to. It's not up to anywhere. I haven't started it, apart from put some pages together that I think I might want to use. So this, um, this cover itself is actually quite interesting. It's a collage, as I'm sure you can see, um, that I made myself on our photocopier. If you've got a scanner or a photocopier, you can do this so easily. Oh, somebody's sending me loads of hearts. Carol? Uh, great to have made it tonight. Oh. Hi Alison, thanks for joining. Um, 
yeah, you've got rough weather too, Carol. Um, Your P says you've got to send her a letter. In that, in, with those envelopes, yeah. wouldn't it be lovely? It really would. Um, yeah, co collage, collage. It's just such a lovely thing. Um, and it's so easy to do. And if you get it wrong, it's just a sheet of paper, you know. Uh, what I've done is I have uh, just built on the uh, the scanner photocopier thing. I've, I've cut out all these fussy cut. Look at that. All these flowers from a book that I own. I mean, there's loads in there. I spent all Sunday night chopping up an entire book. And it was a book pretty similar to this one. Um, it's got all these plates of uh, flowers. This is wildflowers. I mean, they're gorgeous. Um, so I cut, I cut them all out. Some really nice ones. Um, that's chopping out for another night, I think. Probably next Sunday. Seems to be not much on the telly on a Sunday. Um, and I put, I put four of the, the flowers down first. One, two, three, four, and a little butterfly as well, actually. And then I got out some of the really quite old ephemera that I've got. This is a works pass. Uh, I can't remember the date now, but I think it's the 30s. Um, the cover of a cigarette card, wildflower collection. There's all sorts of things on there. This old, truly Victorian uh, envelope, postcard, an old postcard, just lots of stuff on there that's interesting so you put your flowers on first then you put your stuff on and then print it see what you've got if you don't like it move your stuff around nothing lost and i actually printed it out once and then i gessoed small areas just because some was just a bit too bright so i just added a bit of gesso and um i actually because these are white where I've cut them while well, they're sort of cream, but basically white. Um, that one is that one, actually. But when it printed, it printed white. So I uh, watercolored just a really light, nothing sort of color, brownie kind of color in there, just so it wouldn't stand out so much, and printed it again. And this is what I got. But you can do it with anything. You can do it with fabric, uh, absolutely anything at all. And you get some really good results. David Hockney used to do this a lot. And there's quite a famous one of David Hockney um, with with his shirt, his shirt collar and the cuff. Uh, it's pink, I think. Um, and he's painted, he's done a self-portrait. He's painted his, his face above it. So we're in good company with David Hockney. So that's the cover. Or I think that's going to be the cover. I really like it. And then these are just a collection of papers I've put together that I like, that I think will go in the journal. Um, that needs coffee staining. That's coffee stained paper. This need, you know, any that you see is white will be coffee stained. And I've chosen these ones with a sort of border prints because it gives me a chance to get some stuff in the middle here. Um, and of course, I can cover that up if I want to. That's you know just my decision so this is how i've assembled my journal so far isn't that a pretty page wouldn't our one of our envelopes from tonight look really nice on that just saying um so guys if you possibly can if you can think of anybody that would um and that's the middle and then obviously you've got the same going the other way that would like to see this or you think would be interested in this please could you share it for me to anywhere that you um you know <laughs> get into trouble <laughs> i've been in trouble before for sharing in places i shouldn't but um right okay just while before I move on, I just want to draw your attention to these little stamps that I've got here. And they came in a set with loads of others. Um, some are quite some are quite big. These ones that I think will go on my page. Really nice. Uh, and they were a, a free giveaway from um, 
Oh, no, no, I don't think we need to be cluttering. Um, there were a free giveaway from Screech Owl Studio. Screech Owl Studio. S C R E E C H Owl O L W O W L. Hello, Studio. And if you go there onto her um, website, they're there. They're free to download. You can use them for uh, whatever you want, really. There's instructions there on what you can and what you can't use them on. But they're lovely. And, you know, how kind of her to make that a giveaway for us. It's really nice. I've um, put brown ink over mine, distress ink, just to age it a little bit. Um, and I think, they're, I think they're really lovely. They just add something to those, I think. Right, let's get cracking with what we're supposed to be doing. So, this is where we're going tonight, these two. So the first thing to do, the first thing that you need is coffee stained envelope. This is a C5, is this a C5? Yes. <laughs> Sounds like, um, wasn't there a car? Sinclair C5? Yeah. Yeah, it's not that, it's an envelope. <laughs> it would be funny though, it was a car. I don't know why, but it just would. <laughs> so the first thing to do, get your envelope, get a big brush in a pot of quite strong coffee and just brush it over back and front and leave it somewhere to dry. And that's all I've done so far. Next thing is gesso. Just to, because the next stage um, takes differently on the gessoed paper than what it does on the coffee stained paper. So um, it's just a difference. And it, it, it adds just a nice, slightly more antique -y sort of look to it. I've got a new cutting board and I really don't want to get gesso or ink or anything on it. So I'm being really vigilant. Take quite a largish brush. The, the larger brush is easier, actually. And just pick up some gesso. And you want to, I know all you furniture painters out there know how to dry brush. So we're just going to kind of dry brush this onto here. Trying to be random. And trying to be random is really quite difficult, I know. Um, it, it's really, you want to go in lines, you know, you want to, but try not to, if you can avoid it. And the bigger the brush you have, uh, as you'll know from dry brushing furniture and things, the easier it is because it's, it sort of skims over more. But that's sufficient. You know, you don't need to go overboard. We still want to see the, um, the coffee stained paper behind it. That's that's fine for the front. Do the same with the back. Who's saying what? Oh, Carol, thanks for sharing. Yeah, the stamps are really pretty. Oh, Angie, how much to fix it? Mm-hmm. He's smiling his head off here. <gasps> Nobody ever calls him by name. <laughs> been called all sorts of names though yeah you have it's true <laughs> so because there's really really hardly any gesso going on to here it's dry pretty much instantly to be honest i'm just using a little bit that looks in the lid so so far so good Everybody's shared, everybody's happy, everybody's either got the dinner or cooking it. Shaz would like to know what was the first lady that you mentioned? Artie Mays. Artie Mays. A-R-T-Y-M-A-Z-E. -E. She's uh, wonderful. If you're into junk journals, in any way, shape or form, you, you really kind of need to go and have a look at her, her work. But, you know, be prepared to lose days, to, to be honest with you, because her output is phenomenal. She's called Andrea, and she's really down to earth, a really, 
you know, ordinary nice person. Right, so that's the gesso on. I don't know why they've made this lid so big. It's very, very annoying because my hand isn't big enough to shut it or open it. The gesso I'm using is by Golden. It's probably about the most expensive gesso you can get and there is definitely no need to use this. Uh, I, I use it because I, I paint with acrylics. Um, but I would recommend that you go to the works. They do a big tub, really big tub, and it's fibre. And it's not gritty or anything. It's really nice. So, so that's that. We'll just leave that to one side just in case it is a bit wet. And... Um, Bring in the one that I prepared earlier. <laughs> this is just like ridiculously good. Uh, so the next thing that we need to do is stamp on it. <laughs> Not with your feet. It should dry, I'd say. Just to fix it, it's asking if I want him to go and dry it, but I think it should dry. I'm going to use bright pink. I used green on my... Um, prototype on this one which I quite like but I'm going to use pink I mean what the heck and this is uh, it's a brilliance uh, stamp pad so it's got a bit of pearlescence about it yeah very like us Alison really normal I don't know why I'm laughing at that Alison <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> more Everyone needs adjusting. Mm -hmm. We're just not lucky enough. Ten minutes with my hobby. <laughs> oh, no. Why did you? Why did I gesso it? Well, um, because well, a it gives this effect, which I'm not sure that you can actually see. It's a sort of patchy kind of effect, which just adds interest, really. And when we come to put the pink spray on the gesso will take it up slightly differently to the coffee stained paper so you get a slightly different effect it, it's it's all about nothing really to be honest but i like the effect of the gesso on the coffee stained paper i'm petrified i'm going to get something on this board oh yeah look at that that's pretty isn't it i mean you don't have to stamp the whole thing i'd recommend that you don't stamp the whole thing really Yeah, I, I don't think you can, but I can see the pearlescence in that um, stamp. And it's looking mighty fine. You know, these stamps, I've had them six years, seven years, something like that. And when I got them, they weren't new. So it's quite, it's absolutely incredible that they still work. Incredible. Right, okay, so that's the stamping done. So the next part is putting the paint on. Or, in our case, we're going to use this Distress... I always have a problem with this. Distress Spray Stain. It, like my mouth, my mouth doesn't want to say that. So I'm not going to use that. Because I'll get into trouble. Lord knows I can do without any more trouble. So I'll give this, a, it's just, um, what you can do if you haven't got this, but you have got an ink pad that's a colour that you want. Um, I think I might even have that. Uh, well, this is pickled raspberry and this is worn lipstick. There's not a whole heck of a lot of difference between them. What you can do is just take the lid off, stamp down onto your, um, board whatever you're using spray it with water and then do the next stage I just so happen that I've got two of two of these one's brass and one's picked raspberry so I'm just going to give it a go I didn't use it earlier so it might not work who knows wow that is vivid I don't need too much because I've only got one envelope I might have two. Oh no that's the one I've just done god I'm going mad and then dilute it because that's like way too strong. I've got 
the lovely colours out here where it's diluted. Right, so then you take your stamped and gessoed and coffee stained envelope and you just sort of dab it in. Have faith. And this is the sort of effect that you get. Which is sort of nice because it's really random. And don't worry, it'll all be all right in the end. Yeah, you like that? If you've got like really big runs, more than you actually want, just uh, dab it off while it's still really wet. I think we're all right with that. So that's that's that. You can carry on. You can. This one, the one that I've just done is dry now, so I haven't stamped it up yet. So I'll, I'll leave that to one side. Um, this is killing me, actually, that, that this is going to waste. I'm going to have to use this stamped or not. Yeah, I, can't, I just, that's too much to waste. Hmm? So this is just playing into the sort of randomness of it all. You can use um, you can use two colours if, if you want. I use two colours on the, these. I used green and yellow uh, and I like that effect. But for these I'm using just this um, raspberry which which has got so much dye in it, it's, it's untrue. Maybe watercolour was better. Uh, right, I'll just prop that up there to dry. I'm just going to use this um, piece of paper just to mop up some of this. I just can't bear it wasting. I can use this as a base for something. Oh, look at it, it's gorgeous. Craft supplies are so expensive that really you don't want to be wasting them if you can avoid it. Pass that to you. Just, just leave it or dry of its own. So I'm going to get rid of this dye. There we are. I'm being tidy tonight. I'm being so tidy. It's not like me. It's this board. It's got me really worried. <laughs> uh, right, so that one's not going to take long to dry at all. I don't think it's just barely caught. And yet, you know, it still looks really lovely. So, this one has got the stamps on, the ink on. And we're ready to rock, I think, with that one. I'm just, just excuse me a minute, I'm just going to give this a quick blast. Let's see if anybody's talking to me. Yeah, it's bright, isn't it? Well, everything's so expensive, Alison, that's the problem. You really don't want to waste it if you can possibly avoid it. I've been having a bit of a tidy up this week. I found things I didn't even know I had. Right, so let's do the decoupage one first. I know you all know how to decoupage. So, you know, teaching your granny how to suck eggs, really. But it just does finish it off nicely. Oops. Um, right, so I went upstairs to my small decoupage tissue box that you actually can't lift up because it's so heavy. 
Uh, and I found some that I really liked. I love this one. I really, really love it. So it doesn't exactly fit in with what I want to do today, but I've left it out because it's going in my journal somewhere along the line. Um, I thought that one might fit the bill. You know, it still could. It's, it's nice. Yeah, um, it's a Dovecraft one, and I think I got it from the range, and I'm loath to say this, but I've had it ages. Um, I don't think it was expensive. It's just a bit more oomph than a hairdryer. Right, so this one I thought might do, but then when I got it downstairs, they were just too big. The roses are just too big, really. Um, this one would have done, definitely would have done. So it's just a matter of auditioning your napkins. As you know, we've all done it a thousand times. That's really pretty. I brought that downstairs because I thought that would go on something else. <laughs> uh, this, no, it's not right. It's bright, but it's not right for what, what I want today. But it did make it into the downstairs cut. So I went for these. We've all got or all have had I'd like to bet my bottom dollar at some stage these napkins they must be the most overused napkins in the world and yet I'm going to use them again because they're just right for what I want so I've torn some out and I'm going to put them I might tear that one off put it slightly further up there and put that one on the back of the Peter point thing whatever you call it flap flap it cold again? <laughs> did any of you lot used to watch Miranda Miranda Hart <laughs> she is such a funny woman and she had these words that she couldn't say because they made her laugh and moist <laughs> moist was one of them and yeah it makes me laugh too and flap <laughs> And flange, yeah. And and now I can't say those words without um without embarrassingly laughing my head off. Because it's not because they're rude, it's just they're funny. When you say them to yourself, flange, flange, it just feels funny. So now I hope everybody throughout the country is sitting there going, flange. Um, anyway, what was I talking about before? <laughs> oh, yeah, the flap. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I thought that one might go there on the envelope flap. And I'm not going to laugh. I'm not going to laugh. And this can go there like that. And it can get wrapped around. So we've got something on the back. Today I'm using Mod Podge. There's all manner of ways to adhere tissue to your substrate I know I know that you all have different ways that you like to do it, different glues that you prefer I use whatever comes to hand on that given day a case of napkins I know yeah Miranda Alison she's right up your street isn't she I know it uh, <laughs> that's oh dear I'm not saying that it's not nothing to do with them having rude connotations. It's when you say them, you just <laughs> moist. I mean, say it, say it out loud. It's just, <laughs> just... right. I've got to get off this because it's, it's, you know, when YouTube asks you, is it suitable for children? I mean, this just isn't going to be suitable for children. <laughs> See, look at that. I've very nearly got some Mod Podge on my brand new blinking thing. You don't want to, you have to. Just carry on. Otherwise you'll stick it to your paper. <laughs> no, it'll be all right, thanks. Um, yeah, so enough of the moist flaps, Angie. <laughs> Although it is funny. I have watered my Mod Podge down. Uh, to make it more moist. <laughs> to make it more moist. Uh, about half and half, something like half and half. In fact, the thing that I dislike most about Mod Podge 
is that it's too thick and it tears it can tear your napkins so i've watered it down and it's absolutely amply thick i mean i think if you were sticking down uh you know copy paper or something like that you might want it a bit thicker than this but for um, napkins this is just grand half and half half water half Oh, bodge. Right, so I'm just turning that over. I'm going to stick this down here. So very satisfying about decoupage, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Just because that focus on focus uh, focuses on, the, on my head. <laughs> I realise you've got to see it. Yeah, but I can actually keep my head back a bit more. I mean, these envelopes now, because they've been coffee stained, are brown, pretty much brown, but they have got the gesso on. Um, and so there's no, I'm not seeing a discernible edge of that, that decoupage napkin at all. And where the pink was underneath it, it's really singing. It's gorgeous. What do you think? What do you think, folks? Powell thinks you're a hoot. A hoot! <laughs> Talking of hoots, Screech Owl Studio, she's the lovely lady that's provided those uh, free to download stamps, um, which of course you can render stress or whatever with. How kind of a, how nice. And when you're there, I don't know what else she does, but. Have a look, you never know. Might find something else to spend your money on. <laughs> I've been looking looking through Etsy this afternoon, my goodness me. You could spend a lot of money. Right, so I think that one's done. I could, however, um, if I wanted to, because I've got another one cut out here. I could really go to town and put one there as well. Because I've got this quite solid mass of, of um, ink, I could put just the two, just those ones there, or I could put that there. Jeepers, I didn't know. I might, mm, don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that because I like it. And it's not as if these are, this is my last napkins of that design in the world. I have probably 16 left. I'm so um, precious with my napkins. You know, when it comes to using them for decoupage, I just... Oh no, better not use that one. I'll save that one. What am I saving it for? This is what I want to know. I can only put it on one project. So I've got bits overhanging here. Don't um, worry about them. We'll get them. As I say, I know that you all know how to decoupage, so I'll try not to give you too many instructions. That's going right over the top. That's fine. Let's do that, eh? Let's be rebellious. Right. And then over we go. Trying not to stick this to the kitchen towel that's underneath it. So you need to apply a sort of bit of pressure really, otherwise you'll get a funny wrinkle down the edge. Head nobbing's in the way. Nobbing. Right, okay, let's have a look and see what we've got. Mm. Oh, look, how pretty is that? Let me hold it up. You see that? That's that side. And that's the other side, and that will go down there like that. I think that's really pretty and really pleased with how 
how that's turned out. Of course, you can be much more careful about everything. More precise, let's say, if you want to be. I, I like the um, randomness of things. Um, you may not like that. You might want to be more cautious about where your ink goes or doesn't go or whatever. Um, just going to cut this off down here. I've got nice little scissors to do it with. <laughs> A giant. Right, there we go. So there we have it. A really, really, I think, really, really nice, pretty envelope. And that will go in my journal. And I will, in the fullness of time, make the writing paper. For those of you that joined late, where were you? Um, you can come out the corner now. <laughs> can I give that to you, will you? Just give that a bit of a dry. Please. No, you need more than blowing on it. This is what, this is what started us off with uh, going down this route these um envelopes that are so being made in a video by Artie Mays she's a phenomenal woman really easy to follow wonderful but she made something very similar to this so I thought oh, I'll have a go at that and see what happens I use different ink and different colors and whatever different napkin but this is this was for my results I used for this one I used yellow and green I used watercolor on that actually and I, I think I might like the effect rather more than the ink the ink's a bit in your face um, and then after having flushed with success from making the envelopes I thought what I need is writing paper so I carried on in the same vein and made eight sheets of writing paper that will go to a sheet into the envelopes which will then go into my new flowery journal so that was what started us down this path. Um, and this was one that I did earlier today to show you guys what we were going to be doing. But we've just done one now where we've put the decoupage on both sides and it looks well, well pretty. Right, so let's have a look at this one. This. I hope you can see that it's metallic these flowers are a stencil and it's metallic paint and it looks really really nice I really like it so here's this one that we've just done and it's just been dried off and you can see that decoupage does feel slightly rough if you want to take a nail file to it or something wait till it's really 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 dry and then just rub a nail file over it and you'll take some of the high spots off it'll look more antiqued and it'll feel really nice as well. So that's the back. Oh, that's the back. Um, I'll just ink around it and then you'll see what it looks like when it's finished. This is tea dye, distress ink tea dye. So I guess I'm not teaching you a lot tonight, guys, because you all know how to decoupage. But this is a nice way to do it, I think. Nice idea for it. Shaz says the flower's in incredible. Could you show them again? Yeah. The shiny ones. Uh, um, sorry. Yeah. I wasn't here. Uh, I'm just going to fold that back over on itself, do that edge there. This is inking at speed, isn't it? <gasps> right, so I just need to do this bit down here and I've got a piece of, um, yeah, look at this. This is organised. piece of glassine that fits in there. So I can ink around the edge without it going onto the underneath bit. Sometimes I shock even myself. <laughs> right, so that's that. There we are. Uh, the flowers, these flowers, the shiny ones. Oh, there we are. 
that's it it's just catching there it's a metallic paint through a stencil everything else is exactly the same i didn't stamp on it um I ju but i did do the ink thing the same uh, and then i just used a stencil to get those um, metallic flowers and i really like it it looks like chinoiserie to me um but what do i know right so that's done dusted finished thanks very much very nice um so we need let's use this one it's been inked um it hasn't got any stamping on it so we'll use come on let's put things away as we go put the lid on the mod podge right um this is a stencil you've seen me use before. Any flower stencil will do, and I really mean that. I don't actually think this is a one I would have chosen out of a rack of flower stencils, to be honest with you. But when I used it, it looked really nice. So I'm pleased, um, pleased that I had it. And this is just a little thing of uh, metallic paint. Which one is it? Ah, right. It's called uh, Lumiere by Jacquard. J A C Q U A R D. And it's actually a fabric uh, paint. It came in a set of about 12, all of the, the metallics. But I don't think that you actually really need need that I think let's try something different see if it works I'll try silver right so I've got some ordinary De La Roni system 3 acrylic here and it's in silver I've just literally just picked it out the drawer I don't know if it will work let's give it a try because I rather suspect that those jacquard ones are probably a bit pricey. Whereas I don't, you know, if you buy a thing of acrylic paint that's metallic, you probably get them from the works or wherever. I don't think they're going to be that sort of pricey. So let's get this in somewhere where we want it, right there. Um, and I'm just using my cheap little dabber again. You see me use this a million and one times. Let's see if the silver works. If it doesn't, it's on you, Shaz, okay? <laughs> Don't worry. It's hard to see. I can't see whether it's working or not. Have to wait till we take the stencil off, and then be awestruck. Ah, oh, just moved it. I didn't mean to. Let's put it back. Okay, I think we're about there. Let's see. See what's happened. Oh yeah, well, you can see it, for sure. Can you see that, guys? Oh, wait a minute, where are we? Yeah, there you go. See that? That's quite nice. I quite like that. Um, something different, isn't it? I'll tell you what that would be nice for if you were making wedding invitation, wedding invitations and envelopes. I think that would be really nice. Right, I'm going to leave the silver alone. Walk away from the silver. I've got a pool of this pink out, which I'm going to use. Just leave that to dry for a sec. And I'll just come over to this other side with the pink. Which might have a bit of silver in, but, you know, it doesn't. This is not precise. I'm not going for precise here. I'm going for this has been handcrafted. Look. 
So when's your next live then, Alison? This is the question. I'm waiting. We're all waiting. We're desperate for you to do one. Um, is that dry yet? That's not quite dry yet. Um, what should I do there? What did I do on this one? Oh, I'll put a whole flower. Right, I'll put that, put that there then. Didn't think I was as bold as that, but I was. I love these dappers for stenciling. They're just so quick. I, I don't necessarily think I'd want to do, you know, if I was doing furniture or something, I might be taking a bit more time over it. But um, is that dry? No, I, I'm just going to dry that before I turn it over because I have fears of it uh, just sticking to the kitchen towel. Doing well for time tonight, folks. So, did you see where they were saying Amazon knows all about us? God knows what they think of it, but... <gasps> uh, good luck to them, really, isn't it? You know, what is there about my life to know? <laughs> if they want to watch the lives, put their figures up, that'd be great. Yeah, we're dry. We're dry. Right, so where this silver one is, which I like a lot, I'm just going to kind of make a bit of a, a shadow. I don't know if it'll work. I really honestly don't know if this will work. But I'm going to give it a go. Let's see before we go any further what it looks like. Yeah, it looks all right. I'll stick with that plan. I'm just going to do the flowers. I'm not doing the stems. I don't know all that malarkey. Yeah, that, actually that looks really quite nice. So we've got the silver behind and the pink in front. It looks a bit like a drop shadow stencil. Yeah, that's that's looking all right. I'm going to have to dry this off now before I turn it over. So uh, a singular one. What? Oh, oh, um, heat gun. Yeah. Next Friday, definitely. Is that when you're doing your live, Angie? Yeah, there is a lot of wind. You can hear it through the fire, actually, is where it, it's really... You love the silver and the... Yeah, your idea, Charles. You were going to get blamed if it went wrong. <laughs> so accept the plaudits now it's gone, right? So, I wish I'd done that. I wish I'd done silver on them, though. I'm going to do silver on this because I really like it. I'm just going to put one flower there. I've got a lot of pink on my brush now, but never mind. Pick up some silver. Yeah, you know, if ever you're in hobby craft and they're selling off metallic paints, which for some reason they do with regularity, I think people aren't keen on buying metallic paint. You know, serious artists. They don't really have a place, um, but for us, they're brilliant. That's come out kind of somewhere in between the two. It's kind of pink and silver, but it's nice. I'll, I'll leave it and put a darker pink one on. Let's put that up there. I'm really quite enjoying doing this. I hope you can tell and I hope that you um, can take some part of it away and have a go. It'd be really nice if you um, started a junk journal, even one page of it, you know, one page a month. You'll get there eventually. I'll turn the fire down now, so hopefully you won't hear the wind whistling quite so much. 
Right, so we've got those, so just give them a quick whiz and then I'll go and put pink in them. Yeah, no, Andre, I mean, you take your time, do what you've got to do. I was wondering when Alison was going to do a live, don't we all think? It was great your last live, Alison. It was a tonic, is what it was. And it would be great to see you doing another one. Not if it's going to stress you. I mean, you know, that nothing's worth that. So I'm just going to drop this down as you would if you were doing like a drop shadow stencil, which is kind of, I guess, what we're doing. And go over it with a dark pink. Oh, look at that. It's really, really, really lovely. It's, it's got silver behind it. It's so pretty. What a fantastic idea, Shaz. Uh, which one's this? Oh, it's this one. I'm just going to drop that again, just a little, little bit, so as we see a little bit. Oh, I'm running out of pink. These are such small bottles. Every time I go to them, I think, oh, they're going to be empty. But I don't know. They're the small bottles that keep on giving. So guys, if you can share, I know a lot of you have already, thank you very much. But if there's anybody hopped on recently and you think you can share to a group or a friend or anybody at all, that would be great. If you want to catch up with what I'm doing, what I have done in the past, pop over to my YouTube channel, which is Miss Paint A Lot. Uh, Instagram's Miss Paint A Lot, everything's Miss Paint A Lot. So I'm quite easy to find. Um, right, I think... I think we're about there with that one. How absolutely gorgeous is that? What do you guys think of that one? That's really pretty, this. It's really, really, really pretty. Right, so we'll pop that to one side. I would wash that stencil, but <laughs> it's, um, it's beyond it. It's absolutely past it. So it just keeps... I guess it keeps getting smaller and smaller because of the build-up of paint, but what the heck. So that was just, the silver was um, De La Roni System 3 uh, silver. I don't even think it's got to be this good a brand. It could be any metallic paint. It's just a stencil, you know. So let's just put some ink around there and then we'll compare our two finished uh, envelopes. And you can tell me what you like and what you don't, or tell me you don't like either. That would be sad, wouldn't it? I love those ones with the silver in the back. They're really, really lovely. now Alison that you can kind of see why we use the gesso it just gives a bit more aged interest to the page if it was just all one color it would just look slightly dull I think both sides of that crease. I like when creases are done. Oh 
Okay, guys, let's have a look at the results. Let's clear the decks, see what we've done. All right, so that's that one. That's the one that was the original. And this is this one. And that's the one that was the original. So, what do you think? Do you like them? Would you try them? Would you have a go? I must say, I think my favourite out of all of them is this one. It's really interesting. It's interesting and pretty. But I will, you know, I'll find room somewhere for them because they're just they're too nice not to use. Uh, what what did you get away with? What did you get away with? Uh, thanks, Angie. Thanks for sharing. Oh, that's so sad. I'm so s sorry that you felt lonely. I'm always here. I'm just always here. Should, should you ever need me? I missed the beginning of this, my first time feeling. Did you gossip the entire envelope or just spots? I think you mean gesso. I think you mean gesso. No, I um, very lightly dry brushed it on. So um, I haven't got one left. That's, but it's just, you can see that it's very, very just lightly put on. Hit, bit hit and miss, hit and miss just to add a bit of interest here and there. Uh, thank you, Karen. Thank you, Carol. Right, so I think that's me done. <laughs> I'm really glad that you joined me tonight, guys. I'm, it's always a delight to have you. I'm sure I saw something. Oh, Penny. Yes, you were asking about the gesso. Um, I haven't seen your name before, Penny. It's very nice to have you with us and anybody else that's joined us tonight for the first time. We're here every Thursday at six o'clock UK time and pop up periodically on YouTube, but nothing definite on that front yet. <laughs> Just Thursday on Miss Paint a lot. My Some, YouTube channel, yeah. yeah, my YouTube channel is, is um, Miss Paint a lot. I'm easy to find. Look for Miss Paint a lot. You'll find me on YouTube, Instagram, wherever you're looking, I miss paint a lot. I do also have an art group um, on Facebook and you're more than welcome to join there and share anything that you've done art related. Um, it's always nice to see what you've, what you've been up to. I post my things on there and occasionally I do a little video on there or whatever. So in the meantime, at least until next Thursday, Thank you all for joining me. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for making it a happy place to be tonight. Um, <laughs> thank you all, and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye.